Crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with a set of cards that features a couple of different products from the Tupelo Designs LLC store and is part of the um, Lasting Hearts card drive. Jennifer McGuire recently started a card drive looking for cards sent to people who have lost a child through miscarriage and so she's collecting some cards to go with some book donations and I will leave a link so you can read more about it but I thought what a better way to use that thoughts and prayers stamp set that I had picked up from Mint Owl Studio at Tupelo Designs LLC than to make cards for this drive so I'm starting by taking some card stock and just swiping distress ink all over it. Jennifer McGuire actually shared a similar technique recently, and I thought that it was a great way to make a lot of quick cards, so I'm going to be sharing it as well, but I'll leave a link to original video because I don't want anyone to think that I'm just sort of taking her idea. I do acknowledge that it was something very similar. So um, in between the different inkings of the cardstock that you see that I'm cleaning off my craft sheet here because I don't want the colors to be mixing in with each other, and I'm also using a napkin to hold the cardstock down because if I press my fingers into it, it will get fingerprints, and also I might be spreading some of the color, so having that clean napkin helps a little bit there. And you see there's no real precision needed here. You can kind of just um, smush it on and rub it over as many times as you need. It will look really, really splotchy at first, and it kind of scared me because I wasn't sure it was really going to dry evenly, but Distress Ink does definitely dry back, so it'll be a little bit lighter, and the coverage will turn out more even over time. However, because I'm going to be doing some stenciling on top of it, you probably won't even notice the unevenness, or it will just kind of add to the depth of it. So I have my Clarity Stencil binders here, and I am choosing this Hero Art Stencil that I picked up again at Tupelo Designs LLC. It is a Hero Arts two-way arrows stencil. This one I find really, really versatile because it has a geometric design and so it's useful for a lot of occasions. And I taped my cardstock to my craft mat and then I'm taping my stencil around it and I'm just going to be spritzing it with some glimmer spray. And I do that with all of the cards. I'm using a pink glimmer spray here with the pink cardstock and the colors I used were Cracked Pistachio, Hickory Smoke, Wilted Violet, and Worn Lipstick. And then I'm going to um, just choose different sprays that coordinate. Here I have the pink spray, but um, I'll be using a black spray with my gray cardstock and a dark green spray with my Cracked Pistachio. So just kind of whatever I had that worked well. And if you give it like um, about 30 seconds before you lift the stencil off, it will start to react and um, leave that sort of shimmer there. And it's really subtle if the spray and the ink are the same. However, if you go with a much darker spray, you'll see more of the stencil. So it's kind of like what you're looking for. And I'm just going to quickly flip through. With the purple, I didn't have a purple spray, so I just used the standard Perfect Pearls color there. Now, I had picked up this Mint Owl Studio stamp set in my latest Tupelo Designs LLC haul, and I like it because it has a wide variety of sentiments and can be suited to um, a number of different needs. Like, you, can, you know, if you're somebody who's more religious using the prayer sentiment, but if you don't prefer to say that, um, all of the sentiments also work with the thoughts version. And so I'm going to be using a powder bag so that it does not, the embossing powder doesn't stick where I don't want it to, and I'm going to be doing some white heat embossing. When you're using Distress Ink or even just the Glimmer Mist, uh, if you had done this on plain card stock that was colored already, you really want to make sure that it's completely dry before you do any embossing. And one way to test that is just to sprinkle some embossing powder on the surface without any ink and just see if it's sticking. If it's still sticking, be sure to hit it with a heat gun, completely dry it before you continue. Then use the powder bag, stamp with the Versamark ink, and spread it on. Now, I don't yet have my white embossing powder, and this is the Hero Arts white embossing powder, in a large container. I just have it in this small container, and one thing that I find useful to do is to sprinkle it into a coffee filter, and then... I can take anything that's left over and pour it back into the jar really easily. You can also do this with a piece of paper, uh, like a piece of scratch paper, but I find that tends to get a little bit more all over my desk and a little bit harder to control. 
So um, I've been using the coffee filter and I use the same one over and over again. So it's not going to be something that adds up over time or is wasteful. You can just kind of have that one uh, coffee filter you use for your white embossing powder. Or just get the plastic container and use that as a continuous reuse. So once I stamp the same sentiment on all of the cards, I'm going to be adding some finishing touch details. I wanted to be able to add, uh, try to make a couple of cards rather quickly and make a couple of cards at the same time. So I kept the design similar, but the color schemes different to make them a little bit more unique. And I'm using a Uniball white Signo gel pen here to make these dashed lines. I've been having some trouble with gel pens in the past, particularly white gel pens. What I found is to be the best, most helpful advice so far is to store the pen with the tip downwards so that the ink is staying near the tip and to be very gentle when you place it away. If you let it um, hit the bottom of the surface, that can cause an air bubble in the ink and that's um, not good. You know, it's going to make you have some skips when you're writing. So be sure to store it with the tip facing down and to be gentle when you place it in so you don't get any air bubbles. The last finishing detail that I had was to add some enamel dots or sequins. When they decided to start carrying Mint Owl Studio, Tupelo Designs LLC also brought in their sequins. And she has some really unique, fun sequin mixes. This is the Hearts and Kisses sequin mix, which includes a number of really cute hearts uh, sequins, as well as some matte finish sequins. I personally am really liking the matte finish. It looks a little bit different than what you're able to find in bulk in the stores and makes them a little bit more special. And so I'm just going to create a visual triangle here. So when I started placing my sequins, I made sure that it formed a triangle. And then to continue with that rule of odds, I continued to add one in the triangle formation and made little groups of three. So if you're having a little bit of trouble with, you know, how do I place sequins, creating those visual triangles helps. Another thing that I like to do is to bring them from the top left to the bottom right around a sentiment. So you see that's kind of what I did there with that purple card. And I also mixed in these enamel dots that I was able to pick up from Queen & Company. Um, it's sold as a wallet and you saw that in my haul video. So I did the same thing where I created a little visual triangle and then added two more to make groups of three. And that completes all of my card set today. And if you are interested in the supplies, again, check the links in the video description for Tupelo Designs LLC. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel, but you can also subscribe to the Mint Owl Studio channel to see how some of those products are used now that they're available at Tupelo Designs LLC. And be sure to check out the video description for some links to the Facebook groups so that you can join in on our contest that is starting soon using MFT products. Thanks for watching. Bye.